After the Brooklyn Nets somewhat failed this past season by not winning the championship that they wanted to, we're going to be looking at 5 things that the Nets must do this year in order to win the finals in 2022. Even with two stars and a capable surrounding cast built to compete in the East, the Brooklyn Nets had concerns entering last season. As we approach the new year, Kevin Durant's health and the conference's relative strength don't look so threatening now. Durant absolutely lit up the league and Brooklyn bolstered its star power by adding James Harden, setting themselves up as favorites to take the 2021-22 crown after an injury riddled postseason exit last season. Still, nothing is certain in the NBA though. So here are 5 things the Nets must do in order to win the finals this year. First up, the Big 3 needs to be healthy. This question is in a tier of its own, can the Big 3 stay healthy? And frankly it decides their season more than anything else. If Durant, Harden, and Kyrie are healthy enough during the regular season, but especially in the postseason, the championship is Brooklyn's to lose. Should one of these three be hurt or severely limited, the league immediately catches up to the Nets, and in the playoffs, every vulnerability is exposed. While they likely improved on the margins this summer, it's not nearly enough to make up for a star going down. Durant was largely durable prior to his Achilles tear, similar to Harden and last year's hamstring issues. Irving dealt with a myriad of unlucky knocks, perhaps unavoidably to some degree with his playing style, and it's impossible to predict, but Nets fans must hope their team remains healthy this year. Second, will Harden and Irving sign contract extensions? Well, they need to. Earlier this summer, GM Sean Marks signed Durant to a four-year extension worth $198 million running throughout 2026. He also assured fans extensions were coming to his counterparts in Irving and Harden by the time training camp arrives. But now we're like two months out from that date and with Durant's signature and Marks' confidence, there's no reason to think that the extensions are coming. It will be interesting to see if there are any protections for either of the two in case of an injury, always a risk that comes with some long-term deals. Should Irving or Harden come to some sort of disagreement with Brooklyn, they have player options for 2022-23 that they can opt out of, becoming 2022 unrestricted free agents. Again, not likely unless one of the guards is chasing a bigger payday using that route. At number 3, they need to figure out who will be their toughest challenger. It was the Milwaukee Bucks that upended the Nets and went on to win a championship, but they did so with Irving and Harden out. Brooklyn may not have the size for Joel Embiid, but neither do most teams. Another tough East out will be the Miami Heat, now with Kyle Lowry in the mix. Their big three of Lowry, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo doesn't stack up talent-wise, but the Heat's roster runs deep with high IQ, tough players. Out West, the LA Lakers appear to be favorites behind their newly formed trio of Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. On paper, there's not a better competitor for the Nets, with their biggest edge being their physicality and athleticism. Brooklyn has the bigger scoring punch and more time spent on court together, but that's no small factor. At number 4, they need to figure out DeAndre Jordan. The Nets signed Jordan to a generous 4-year $39 million contract when they assembled their Avengers, but in year 2, head coach Steve Nash benched him for the final stretch of the season. He had every reason to do so. Entering 2021-22, Jordan is now 33 years old, earning just shy of $10 million, and barring a transformational offseason won't be earning meaningful minutes. That leaves Brooklyn some choices, assuming they prefer to better utilize his cap space over keeping him as an overpaid veteran leader. And finally at number 5, figuring out the buyout and the trade markets. Along with Jordan's $10 million contract and an assortment of young pieces, the Nets have an $11 million trade exception picked up in the Spencer Dinwiddie sign and trade. All this is more than enough to make further upgrades to the roster, but how impactful those might be remains to be seen. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Jump Off Central. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe with post notifications on so that you never miss an upload. And I'll see you beautiful faces next time. Have a great day.